Honda's IndyCar stars have a huge challenge on their hands heading into the World Championships, the BAV TV 500, Saturday night. They faced not just a tough field, they had to battle face melting heat in qualifying Friday afternoon. Air temperatures right at 100 degrees with surface temps north of 130, putting drivers, engineers, and teams through the ringer. Honda Simon Pagano comes in third in points. A sweep Saturday night would give him an outside shot at the 2014 championship. He'll start mid pack, but Simon is far from conceding the title. This is the last race of the year. We've, we've had a tremendous season with Schmidt Peterson Motorsport Honda. Uh, we've been strong, we've won races, and uh, it has been a season like I expected it to be, uh, fighting for the championship. So we're down to the wire, down to it in the last race. It's going to be a, a long 500 mile race, and uh, we've, we've focused a lot on the race car, which is a really good race car. So I'm excited. Uh, I didn't expect to be uh, any, any strong in qualifying because we just didn't focus on that. So. Um, yeah, excited. It's, uh, it's time to go for it. After a disappointing campaign, Andretti Autosports' James Hinchcliffe is hoping for some Saturday night redemption. Every race is a chance for that, right? And uh, it's, you know, it's a track we've run well at in the past, and we were one of the few guys that made it to the finish last year. And, and I think ultimately that's what we're going to see tomorrow. It's, it's an attrition race. You know, it's pretty grueling. It's tough conditions out there with uh, all the dust and dirt and debris, and just 500 miles around this place is a challenge. So uh, hopefully we can put you know, what we learned last year to good use and be there at the end. His Indy winning teammate Ryan Hunter Ray won't earn his second IndyCar title, but capping 2014 with his fourth victory of the year would go a long way toward making the season special. Uh, to win in Southern California, this is basically my second home. So a lot of friends and family here, a lot of sponsors in the in, in the uh, you know in the support group, and uh, we'd love to we'd love to win Fontana, that's for sure. And it, it put us in a good position in the championship as well. Um, you know, it's uh, I think we we could still get second, but we should be. We should be competing for that championship. It's a bummer talking about it. Leading the Honda contingent in Fontana qualifying, a surprising Takuma Sato, and perhaps no surprise, the young Tennessean Joseph Newgarden, who stayed on his late season roll by qualifying P3. I think close, but no cigar is our saying for this year. We've just been there, been there, been there, looked awfully strong, and have not been able to seal the deal. You know, we're always second, third, close, but not number one. And um, we got to figure out how to fix that. We're obviously right there, but we can't can't seem to get that last spot. I think today we had a great car. Um, we had plenty of power, I think, to get the top spot. I just didn't quite get it right on the first lap, first corner. And if I would have chose a little different line, a little different approach, I think we would have been sitting on the top spot potentially today. Honda drivers get one more practice session in cooler conditions Friday evening to tweak race night setups for the IndyCar World Championships. At Auto Club Speedway in California, I'm Rick Benjamin, Honda Racing HPD Trackside. <laughs>